Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We got James Taylor writing in, that YouTube username. Comment uh, on one of the videos. He says, I wish Canon will make a full frame mirrorless camera, but at the price of the Sony a7 III. I love the Canon EOS 1DX Mark II camera, but I can't afford to buy a five to $6,000 camera. Just my opinion. Well, thanks for your feedback there, James. Um, first, I'd like to say that, in my opinion, um, Canon will be putting out something competitive to the a7 III. I think there's no question of it. Nikon's doing it, and Canon's going to be entering the game. I think they're kind of sitting back and waiting to see what Nikon does, what exactly it is, and how it's received. And then you're going to see uh, some announcements from Canon later in the year that does give them time if they want to pivot and shift and wait if they need to because I'm not exactly sure. They may have a few cameras in development. Maybe it's just going to make a question of what, which camera that's already in development they go with and what features they might choose to or not release, to, to release or not release on the camera itself, depending on what the competition is doing. But I certainly think you'll see uh, something uh, to compete with an a7 III. In other words, a Canon full-frame mirrorless around 24 megapixels, um, at around that price, at around the $2,000 price point. I don't see how they can't do that because I expect that to be the price point of what we now know to be the Z6, the 24 megapixel full frame mirrorless from Nikon. Uh, so I can't see Canon not being in that marketplace competitively on price. So I think you will see that. Will they have a five to $6,000 camera? Sure they will. Just like Nikon's gonna have the 45 megapixel Z7, just like Sony has an A7R3 that is more expensive than the A7 III, I'm, I think you'll see a Canon at the, at the top end price points, something similar to the 50 megapixel 5DSR sensor, uh, and it's probably going to be more expensive. But I do expect them to have something that will compete with the A7 III, uh, similar resolution, around 24 megapixels, and a similar price, around $2,000. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? I, I don't see how they can't do that, but... Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And why? Let me know in the comments below. Let's, uh, let's respond to James. And uh, thanks for your comment, James. Uh, it was an, an interesting thought because I immediately thought, well, of course they're going to. So, But maybe some of you disagree. We'll find out in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.